Hey, man. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. It's a good Friday. We're uh, as we record this, we are still in uh, lockdown mode, and so we're all dealing with the impact of this uh, this virus in the world and on our businesses. And yeah, um, it, it's it's been a it's been an interesting ex- experiment. I mean, sales have been up, but then there's a lot of uncertainty in the marketplace, and there's a lot of we've had to shift a lot of different things, um, and. That's what, we're, what I'd like to talk about in this tip of the week is the really unique thing that you did with your charity sure. that uh, was in response to this. So um, yeah, I'd love to just tell us a little more about that and, and uh, yeah, what, yeah. what that's meant. Well, uh, yeah, for our charity, one of our key programs is called the So Powerful Purse Program. We ask seamstresses around the world to make purses for us and we use them in Zambia as part of our health training program and menstrual hygiene management topic for girls, keeping them in school. So uh, one of the ways we sign up new people to help us with that is trade shows. And we go to a lot of quilting and sewing shows and they're all canceled. So, um, so it literally was going to impact us this year. And so uh, what I thought I would immediately do is right when it started to happen, I figured, you know what, I got to pivot. And, um, so what we brainstorm a little bit and one of my team members had mentioned, Hey, what about, you know, people are doing sewing challenges or like a, you know, an online challenge. Um, and so uh, that's what uh, we kicked off. So we called it the isolation challenge. Uh, I'll share my screen if you want to see kind of what yeah. the landing page looks like. So, see it. so yeah, so we had a logo design done on 99 designs. Uh, and then we called it the isolation challenge. No one had ever used that hashtag before. So it was kind of cool. We made a little video that walks everybody through the overview of why we're doing it. Um, and then the other part that's kind of cool is um, we actually started to um, reach out to big companies. Now, some we have closely held relationship with, you know, Baby Lock's a real key partner to us, but others like Threads Magazine is a massive magazine mm-hmm. and, uh, and Quilts Inc. are the people who run the largest uh, expo, trade sewing expo in the United States in Houston mm-hmm. every year. So we started reaching out to these people and and they immediately were like, uh, yeah, we'll support it. Well, you know, and what I realized real fast, just it came together in a day or two was everyone in this, in my industry is scrambling. Yeah. They, they, they can't keep sending the same message about COVID-19 every day. I mean, what are they going to talk about? And so it really gave them an opportunity to rally around a charitable project. It was well put together, I think. You know, the video mm-hmm. looks good. You guys can go check it out. I'll have a link underneath the show notes. Um, and uh, it gave the industry something to rally around. And um, so that was just our way of thinking through, okay, how do we pivot quickly? And all we're asking these um, big brands to do is just promote it. And then we'll mm-hmm. add their logo to the site. We're not asking them for money or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But it's just a cross-promotion uh, opportunity, uh, co-marketing. And um, it's really come together. And uh, so that, yeah, so that was sort of our, our thinking that went into it um, and, and kind of why we wanted to uh, mix things up a bit. Yeah. Thoughts on it? Uh, I, I love it. I think that it's fantastic. I think it's a quick pivot where yeah. you recognize there's opportunity. And I, I think the, the really cool thing is you provided, like you mentioned, the whole industry and gave them something positive something yeah. that encourages them, even though they are not going to these big trade shows that they can talk about. And I love it. I think it's, it's, it's an example of, of creativity in the face of uh, challenge. Yeah. 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 I, I think the other thing that stood out to me that right when we started to reach out to the other partners was the uh, idea that, um, you know, it's, it's smart to be um, collaborators rather yeah. than competitors. Yeah. And if you're in an industry that is under stress or duress or, you know, the, the, every industry is right now, um, people are looking for, you know, how to win friends and influence people, how to stay afloat, how to do something constructive. And, um, and the, and the, and the peers, I mean, we, we have new relationships now with people at great companies because we put something in front of them that we felt like would be a, um, a positive constructive thing and they've they're excited uh, you know the the co-marketing aspect of it is a win-win Definitely. and so it it actually is um 
is a good example, I think, of how, you know, uh, I always say, it, like, with our internal teams that we're better together and, um, you know, it's smarter for us to work together as marketers sometimes, if it, even inside an industry, than it is to hunker down, try to be competitive against, you know, the brands who might be in your space. Um, and so I think it was a good example of that as well, you know. Um, yeah. what, what's some potential takeaways that that uh, some of the people that are watching this can, can think about in terms of cr being creative yeah. in their space and collaborating with, with other brands? Well, I mean, I think the main takeaway is um, anytime you have any traffic strategy or, or promotional or marketing strategy, it's never a foregone conclusion that it's going to keep working. That's true. You know, I mean, how many brands do we know of and, and people we've heard of that are like, I was a millionaire and then Google changed its algorithm. Yeah. And then I went broke. And we're like, mm -hmm. well, the first part is cool. The second part's fine because Google can change its algorithm. The you going broke part That's means fun. that you didn't pivot. Yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. Uh, so, you know, we're all in charge of our own marketing and, and, yep. and uh, traffic yeah. strategies. And um, it does take clarity of thought and, and interesting creative thinking sometimes to redeem a cratered, you know, kind of situation. And, mm -hmm. and to the extent any of us are in that situation, if something stopped working, I don't care if it's Google or Facebook ads or, mm -hmm. you know, Pinterest or whatever it is, if it stops working, it's time to say, how do I pivot to something that's a new alternative that's better, or at least yeah. as good as um, what I could have done. And I'll be honest, this might, this thing might end up being a better lead generation methodology than going to the shows right right around the country yeah was in the first place yeah so, i mean i think that's an, another lesson is be ready to pivot um not it's a horrible cross-reference metaphor but um you know mad dog mattis the general for the marine corps is famous for saying when they were in uh in, in war um to his troops he said um be friendly, be professional, but have a plan to kill everybody you meet. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's like, you've got to be in the moment. You've got to have your marketing, you know, clarity on what you're doing, but you've got to have a plan to completely dump that and go with something else yeah. and have a backup strategy for your traffic. Mm -hmm. um, and and I, I just feel grateful that we had the opportunity to do something like a 30 day challenge um, and put it together real fast. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I think that's a take. I love it. I think, I think it's, it's fantastic. So I also, I would probably argue that you have to assume that any strategy that you have that's working well will eventually fail. I mean, it's sure. like the law of entropy, right? Like yeah. <laughs> any system is going to end up declining no matter what it is. Yeah. And so there's always going to be the next pivot and be thinking ahead. And cause you don't know the timing when that's going to happen. Cause that yeah. may be outside of your control, but yeah. how you respond to that is definitely within your control. So I love it. I think that the takeaway for me is how do you, how do you, can you think creatively and be collaborative in of the environment that we're in right now? Yeah. And as, as long as this um, economic sort of downturn recession ends up being, this is an opportunity and a time mm -hmm. to really reach out and look for ways to be creative and collaborative in yeah. creating something that that's good. Cause this is, this is obviously with your charity. And so it's doing good and helping to uh, helping other people that are maybe in even a worse spot for sure than, uh, than the people that are engaging in your, in your challenge. Yeah. And I just make one final little observation. I think that a lesson from this is um, under extreme pressure or like, like, you know, the, the big tumultuous change type scenarios when an industry is going through real turmoil, which almost every industry is, mm -hmm. um, it is an opportunity for creative marketers to take the lead and for, for winning ideas. I mean, it's what the lesson here was everybody was like flat footed, like, what the heck, what do we do? We have to work from home. All of our, you know, marketing just got cratered. This whole thing is just like, you know, taking over the, you know, all the topics. And so in those types of situations, if you can think clearly and act decisively, you really can make progress sometimes more than if you would have been in normal business mode, mm -hmm. more than a normal period where people kind of have their own, you know, strategy and plan. I mean, it's, it's almost like because the apple cart was turned over, 
people were open to mm -hmm. things that they wouldn't have been open to potentially. Yeah. I mean, I didn't try this, you know, a year ago, but um, you get the idea. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it just is a, um, a reminder that we don't have to all be paralyzed yeah. uh, during a tumultuous time. Yeah, we can think clearly, act decisively, and come up with a good plan um, that can ultimately, you know, benefit your, in our case, the charity. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. I love it. No, that's love it. fantastic. Yeah. Well, if you like this topic um, in terms of pivoting and your marketing and tech strategies and techniques, you want to learn more about how we do this kinds of marketing uh, and e-commerce related <laughs> equivalents, um, then uh, check out our coaching program. We've got uh, fantastic uh, coaching clients that we work with every day and we've got some slots available, but we've got clients that are crushing it on Amazon, eBay, Walmart, Shopify, Etsy. I mean, I'm probably skipping uh, platforms, but, but are doing really well. And we've learned tons and tons of lessons from them and they've learned lessons from us. And uh, if that's of interest, uh, feel free to check out the coaching information. And uh, it'd be an honor to be able to uh, connect. We work through that process with an application uh, at the beginning so that we make sure that you're the right client for us and we're the right coaches for you. And uh, to the extent that that uh, stars align on that part of it, then we move forward. And it would really be an honor to work with you. So any other thoughts for the good of the order? Good. How do you apply that to your e-commerce? I mean, just being, yeah. being creative and creating challenges and engaging your audience is it's something all of us can do. So it's just yeah. a matter of creativity. Yeah, no doubt. All right, man. Good times. Love it. Yep. See you. Bye.